you know that you can solve simultaneous equations or simultaneous linear equations algebraically as well as graphically here you can see we have three such linear equations the variables being x and y in the first one in the second one again x and y and in the third one x is missing but we have the variable y now let's see when we graph this what is the graph of this these equations let's do it one by one let's take the first equation now you know how to graph an equation on the graph paper so can you help me do this first of all we will make y the subject of this equation so that when we put values for x we get the subsequent values for y why are we doing this well we are doing this because we need x and y values so that we can plot those coordinates on the graph paper so let's make y the subject of this equation y is equal to 3 minus x whole divided by 2 now let us put values for x we have taken random values such as 1 minus 1 and 3 so that we can get whole numbers for y so you can take any such numbers which will get you whole numbers for the y value so let's put so let's put 1 in the place of x what will you get 3 minus 1 2 and 2 by 2 is 1 so when x is 1 y is 1 for this equation let us put minus 1 in the place of x what will you get 3 minus minus 1 that is 3 plus 1 4 and 4 by 2 is 2 so again when x is minus 1 y is 2 for this equation similarly if x is 3 can you tell me what will be the y value when x is 3 in this equation So three minus three zero, and zero by two gives you zero because zero by anything is zero. So we have got our coordinates one comma one minus one comma two and three comma zero. These will help us plot our equation. We have named these coordinates say a, b, and c. Now let us plot these coordinates. First plotting point a, one comma one. That is one on the x-axis. And one on the y-axis. So this is A. Similarly, plot B. That is minus one comma two, minus one on the x-axis and two on the y-axis. Now let us plot C. That is three comma zero, three on the x-axis and zero on the y-axis. So can you tell me on which axis will it lie x axis or y axis well you can see that the y coordinate is 0 that means the point will lie on the x axis now we will join these three points so that we can see the equation right joining a b and c gives us the line for the equation x plus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0 So we have plotted this equation on the graph paper. Now remember, we had three equations. So let us plot the second one. We will plot the second equation on the same graph paper. For that, what do we need? We need the x and y values for the second equation. So let's do that. Again, what we will do? We will start by making y the subject of this equation. Taking two y that side gives me positive two y, or I can write this as two y is equal to three x plus seven. So we have made y the subject of this equation, where y is three x plus seven by two. Now substitute values for x and give me the values for y. 
Here we have taken random values for x such as 1, minus 1 and minus 3. These will give us whole numbers for y. There may be many such solutions for x and y to this equation. We have taken this. You might get other solutions as well. But the graph of the equation but the graph of the equation will remain the same. So let's put these in the place of x and find out the subsequent values for y. So y is equal to 3, putting x1 first. What will you get? 3 into 1, 3. 3 plus 7, 10. And 10 by 2 gives you 5. Now taking x as minus 1. What will you get? 3 into minus 1, that is minus 3, plus 7. What will you get? 7 minus 3, 4, and 4 by 2 gives you 2. So when x is minus 1, y is 2 for this equation. Similarly, when x is minus 3, Tell me what will you get as y when x is minus 3? 3 into minus 3 gives us minus 9 plus 7 by 2. Now minus 9 plus 7 will give you what? Minus 2. So minus 2 by 2 gives you minus 1. So when x is minus 3, y is minus 1 for this equation. So we have found out our coordinates to graph this equation. 1 comma 5 minus 1 comma 2 and minus 3 comma minus 1. Now we have named these points as D, E and F so that we are not confused with the points A, B and C. Now let us plot these points on the same graph paper. First D 1 comma 5. 1 on the x axis and 5 on the y axis. Here. Then E, that is minus 1, comma 2. Minus 1, comma 2. Well, you can see that E is having the coordinates minus 1, comma 2. And the point B is having the same coordinates, minus 1, comma 2. That means, again, you can know one thing, that this line will intersect the equation. The line which we will form now for the second equation will intersect this red line, that is the first equation, at which point? B. Let us name this as E. Now the third one, minus 3 comma minus 1. Minus 3 on the x-axis and minus 1 on the y-axis. So we get this point as F. Now what we will do, we will join the points D, E and F so that we can graph the second equation. We get that line, C. We get this blue line by joining D, E and F, which gives us the graph of the equation 3x minus 2y plus 7 is equal to 0. Now you can say that the point E is the solution of these two lines. Why? Because these two lines are intersecting at point E or you can say at the point B. So this is the solution for the blue line as well as the red line. That is for the equation x plus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0 and 3x minus 2y plus 7 is equal to 0. So this minus 1 comma 2, minus 1 in the place of x and 2 in the place of y will give you the solutions for both these equations. Now remember we have one more equation left which had the missing variable of x. Let's see what do we get in that. It was y plus 1 is equal to 0. That means you can say y is equal to minus 1 for this equation. Now x is missing here. That means the line y is equal to minus 1 will be parallel to which axis? Well, it will be parallel to the x-axis because whatever values you take for x, y will remain minus 1. Let's see. Take x as 0. Well, y will remain minus 1 only. Take x as 2, take x as 4. Or if you take x as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, any value, y will remain minus 1 only. Because this line is parallel to the x-axis. 
that means any point on that line will have different values for x but the same value for y that is minus 1. Well, let's graph it and show you better. What we will graph? 0 comma minus 1, 2 comma minus 1 and 4 comma minus 1. What do you see? We have different values for x but the same values for y because in the equation it is clearly given that y is equal to minus 1. It will not change. Let us graph this. We have named these points as L, M and N. We will plot this on the same graph paper. L is 0, comma, minus 1. That means 0 and minus 1 here. Now what did I tell you? That if the y coordinates are same in all the three points, when we join these three points, you will get a line parallel to the x-axis. Let's see if it happens or not. M is 2 comma minus 1. Again, 2 on the x-axis and minus 1 on the y-axis. So we'll get a point like this here. Now the third point N, 4 comma minus 1. That is 4 on the x-axis and minus 1 on the y-axis. Again, here, this blue point. See, we are having this purple, this black and this blue dot showing these three coordinates. Let's join them. You see, we have joined this. Now, this purple line indicates which equation? y plus 1 is equal to 0 or y is equal to minus 1. Now, one thing do you notice? This purple line is intersecting with this blue line at the point. Which point? At some point here, f. Right? So, this point f has the solution for which two equations? The blue one and the purple one. That is, the blue equation that is 3x minus 2y plus 7 is equal to 0. And the purple one is y plus 1 is equal to 0. So, if we take the solution f, that is minus 3 comma minus 1, it will satisfy both these equations. Now, the purple line, that is the third equation, is also intersecting at one point with the red line also, that is the first equation. Can you tell me which is that point? Now, I can see that the point lies here. Here, this white one. Or, if I circle it, you can see this point. Here. Now tell me what are the coordinates of this point? Well, the coordinates of this point is five on the x-axis and minus one on the y-axis. So five comma minus one. So all these three intersections, let's view them. Look at them, these three intersections. Now, don't you think they are forming a triangle? These three points, which are the points that are intersecting points, are making a triangle among themselves. So, can you name this triangle with the coordinates they are forming? Let's name them. This will be A. Can you tell me the coordinates? It is minus 1 on the x-axis and 2 on the y-axis. Now let's take this point as say point B. This is which point? Minus 3 on the x-axis and minus 1 on the y-axis. Similarly, point C, which is 5 on the x-axis and minus 1 on the y-axis. Right? This is the triangle these three lines are forming with their intersecting points. We have found out the three vertices of this triangle. Now, can you help me finding out the area of this triangle formed by these three lines? Now, you know that area of a triangle is what? Half into base into height. So, what are the bases or you can say the height and bases of this triangle? Well, we have drawn the height drawing a perpendicular from the point A to the line joining the third equation. Now, this line is shown by A and P. 
P is the point on which this line is touching the third equation or the graph of the third equation. So this AP is what? Our height. And what is our base? Well, base is this line. That is BC. So if we calculate BC and AP, then we will be able to draw out the area of this triangle. Let's do it. What will be BC? Well, you know, we can either calculate the distance between B and C by counting the units. Or to be sure, what we can do? We can just subtract the x coordinates in this case. Why? Because the y coordinates of both B and C are the same. So to find out the distance between B and C, we will just subtract their x coordinates. So subtract it, 5 minus, minus 3. That gives you what? 5 plus 3. That is 8 units. So I can say that BC is 8 units. Similarly, find out AP and tell me. Now, you can see visually that it is 1, 2, 3 units from A to P. But to be sure what we will do, we will first write down the coordinates of P. Let us write down the coordinates of P. What will be the coordinates of P? You can see minus 1 on the x-axis and minus 1 on the y-axis. That is point P. So, and A is minus 1, 2. So you can see both have the same x-coordinates. So just subtracting the y-coordinates will give us AP. So let's find out, find out AP. Subtract their y-coordinates. That is 2 minus minus 1. That will give you 2 plus 1, that is 3. So AP is 3 units. So now we can find out the area of this triangle. Half into base into height. Now base was BC that we found out as 8 units. And height is AP that we calculated as 3 units. So just substituting BC and AP's value in place of base and height will give you the area of the triangle formed by those 3 equations. So let's do this. Half into BC is what? 8 and AP is 3. So you get 12 square units. Why square units? Because we are finding out the area of a triangle and area is always represented in square units. So this is how we calculate area of a triangle formed by 3 intersecting lines on a graph.